Hey, what's up everybody? How are you guys doing? This is Regan and welcome back to our channel. It's been a while since I last uploaded so I decided to run here in Hot Toys Secret Base after work. I'd like to share with you guys this newly launched figure of Hot Toys and this is the Spider-Man Miles Morales Bodega Cat suit with a new set of costumes. That is what we're going to talk about uh, but before we start, if you're new here, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell to get the latest updates on our channel especially from Hot Toys. Okay, so without further ado, let's dive in. I think I already saw this uh, in one of their showcases. It was probably a side show. I forgot what event is that, Comic Con, something like that. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with the parts and accessories that are included. Starting with these interchangeable hands, there are five pairs in black and red, each with different gestures. Next up are the eye expressions. It has two extra pairs right here. Next is the interchangeable palm for the web shooting effect. Then, of course, his mobile phone or smartphone with some messages printed on it. It's really cool. And at the back is the cover for the backpack, something like an interchangeable cover. Then right here is a coffee cup. And wow, it's my first time to see them like putting the cup, you know, on the hand. So it's like they're telling us which hand you're going to use, okay? Anyway, on the other side, you could see his sneaker shoes, which are very cool. Looks like an Adidas Pro Model Classic, if you guys know that. Well, I wish they could put some logo Adidas, but of course, that's another license. So, of course, they're not gonna do that. And actually, I thought it was an AJ-12 because he has the AJ-1 on his original suit, right? So, I thought it, uh, it was the AJ-12 Brad's, you know, the flu shot. <laughs> So yeah, anyway, I'd, I'd say it looks very cool. I love the color and the paint up is really amazing. Then let's check out his sketchbook of all his drawings. I guess it has a nice print right there. I really like it. And then at the back, it has a box that looks like a gift box wrapped with some newspaper. Wow. And on the side is the common string spider web. Uh, six pieces with different shapes and lengths and an open web on the side. Alright, so here are some accessories that are already attached to the figure. First off, the simple red and black colored headset. A clean paint job right there, I would say. Uh, next is the Venom Blast effect that is already attached on his hands and on his roller skates too. Looking at the back of Miles Morales, he's got his backpack we've already seen in the other Miles Morales figure. I like how Hot Toys worked on the details and even made straps that aren't made out of fabric. I mean, not just normal straps, these are durable straps made out of rubber plastic material. Plus, its cover-up is interchangeable. And of course, right here is the spider cut of Miles Morales with the hanging gestures. And this time, we are going to get the running spider cut pose. Again, the details and paint ups are fantastic. Lastly, we are going to get these accessory, a pair of roller blades or roller skates with amazing patterns and details. The weathering effects and paint job are superb. I think these wheels can actually move or rotate and I really like how Hot Toys put some amazing details to it. So good job on that Hot Toys. Now looking at the nicely printed hexagon base we see on top of it is the Spider-Man Miles Morales logo. It is accented by a yellow acrylic lining and a common nameplate. And of course, it comes with a dynamic holder for some dynamic poses. Moving on to the great looking figure, this resembles the first announced Miles Morales black and red suit. It looks durable, I hope it really lasts. It has an inner white vest, a shirt underneath the red hooded sweatshirt bearing the Spider-Man logo. And some white strings also right there. And last is the Spider-Man Miles Morales head with spider mask. As usual, it has amazing paint details. So think about it guys, it's ready for pre-order. You can still decide later if you don't want to consider getting another Miles Morales. I think you don't have to buy it right away. I think the only reason to add this to your Spider-Man collection is the outfits with great accessories. That clearly is the selling point here. Overall, I think it looks amazing, especially for the hardcore fans of Spider-Man. So yeah, let me know what you think about this Miles Morales figure. If you have any questions, just comment down below in the comment section. And if you like this video, please don't forget to leave us a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't yet. Okay, so thank you for watching guys. 
Until then, see you on the next one. Peace.